So we're just looking at this 6700. We've got the machine turned off and the needle is about halfway up. What we're going to do is just pull on this needle clamp. You can only do this with the machine turned off. So we're going to push the needle clamp left to right and you should get a drag, a stiffness in it, but it should move fluidly. Okay. So we can turn the machine back on. Lift the presser foot and it resets. I'm going to take this screw out here and the end cap will come off. And that gives us opportunity then to look at this joint. So there's a black arm which goes back inside the machine and it's fixed to the needle shaft mechanism with a back screw and that should all be secure. So when the machine runs the black arm the black arm is the thing which is responsible for moving the needle left to right. If we're getting really adventurous there's two screws there and we don't have to take the top off which you can just lift it to one side and that there is the is the motor which moves the needle left to right and there's a mechanism in there and if we watch it you can see it we can see it moving the arm left to right and if there's any loose screws or anything in that mechanism the motor will move but the arm won't or it will move erratically.